Hey YouTube, Mike here. How we all doing today? I hope we all had a very nice and safe and food fulfilling Thanksgiving. I know I certainly did. Um, okay, today, uh, I don't know if you want to call them Black Friday deals, but um, I picked up a couple of uh, really nice things at Home Depot. And actually one of them is um, <laughs> should have been after I published a video prior to this one, which I showed a bunch of new uh, toys that I bought, uh, which was this Craig thing here. But I'll go over this because this is the one that I really wanted and then the one that you'll see on the other video that um, I will be publishing. So, um, all right, let me just dive right in. Okay, you know that I, I have that one um, gentleman um, from Z Tools that makes the battery holders, um, Milwaukee, DeWalt, the Fest tool makes everything except Ryobi that will hold battery and the um, actual tool itself. I've done multiple demos. I have them in my truck. I have them here. And now what he did was he came out with a lockable um, Milwaukee um, 18 volt battery. You know, he has the 12 volt battery holder. And as you can see, he now has them in two colors, the black and red. Um, the 12 volt ones lock in and I have them sitting up here. I added a few and to get them out, you just pull the tab. But now he has, we'll go with the red one. They do now have, um, they do have the built-in reinforcement where the um, battery now locks in to place and comes out with the lock. So click it in, won't fall out. And now I have not had any problem in my truck as far as batteries falling out. Unless they don't push them all the way in, they have held perfectly without the lock. But now you do have the option, and, and here is the black one. You do have the option with the lock, and that is Z Tools. I'll description below. I'll give you his um, site. Uh, and yes, you're all wondering what's underneath this. That's last. And I'll give you my my little story in a minute. This is the Craig. Um, it's a portable pocket hole, item number KPHJ310. Now, they do make a single version of this, and that's the one I wanted, but they only had the, the, the excuse me, I wanted the double version, but I found the single version, I bought it, and it's for like when you're just doing like face frames where it's three quarters of an inch, or maybe an inch and a, inch and a half, uh, you don't have to have the regular pocket hole jig, it's made for that. But this one is actually multiversal. So that is the kit number. Uh, again, description below. And what you get in the kit is right here, what you see here. You get your six inch bit. You get your drill bit with stop. You get your double, which can be converted to a single. You get your, depths, your depth key with Allen keys. So it tightens up the depth stop the depth stop, you get your clamp, and then you get two little packets of screws. Basically, with the, and if I can, I don't have nails, so I can't get it out. The adjustment, if you could see it, inch and a half, three quarter, half inch. Here's your Allen key. And then you sight through the hole your, your depth. You, so the, how deep you're going to go depending on the thickness of your material. So a two by four, a piece of three quarter, and a piece of half inch. This has, so it's a two-sided Allen key for a little bit more torque. Tighten it down and then it gives you your depth of material. So you can gauge your material. Then it has this double and your depth, your depth goes by these little 
holes let me get it up the right side so you got half inch three quarter an inch and a half and basically you're pushing down on this and you're moving it to the next click so there's your inch and a half so you're pushing down on this back and lifting up there's your three quarter and that is your material stop then to take this apart let me see if I got this correct here yep here we go you're gonna push it forward and then you're going to let me just make sure what I got here here we go and then you're gonna remove it so now you have a single piece that you could use so this is what I purchased before this with the bit the de this this depth piece and Allen key set no screws no hole down uh, and a bit now this is removable so you if, if you ha don't have enough room you could remove this and place it in because your clamp clamps down like that that's what will clamp it down so to put this back together you just reinsert it like so till it clicks this is removable so you do end up with two pieces I just have to get myself oriented here you click it you move it and you pull it out now you have two pieces so to put it in you just line it up turn it back down and click it in line here line it up turn it in and click it now you're back to two so you could do two or you could do one and the actual clamp will now fit in the middle and it, it adjusts the clamp piece actually adjusts depending on what clamp you have and it comes with 20 <laughs> two and a half inch and 20 inch and a inch and a quarter screws all in a nice little neat carrying case with instructions registration card yada 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 um, I'm gonna play with this a little bit <clears throat> and see how it works all right this I picked up today at Home Depot hang on I gotta get little snips here We carry two different socket sets on the truck and we're always looking to grab one. So this will take up room. It'll, it'll actually help us with room in our red toolbox on the truck because it's a socket set and it's um, part 4822981. It is a 28 piece SAE set in a half a small packout. So it's a 3 8 set. It has deep, it removes. It's a regular packout system uh, wrapped in plastic. It goes from quarter to 7 eighths deep and from quarter to one inch shallow with two extensions, ratchet, and a swivel head. So we use a lot of American socket. So this will work out great for us because now I can lock it onto the top of my packout system and um, save room inside of the toolbox where we keep um, a set of deep and a set of shallow um, 3 8 inch sets. We still need metric, but I don't need that many metric. Uh, pieces. All right, let's get to what is covered up here. All right, you all know that I ordered months ago, and this is not it. I ordered months ago the Milwaukee 18 volt threading machine, and I've been waiting for this thing to come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, it's not even on Milwaukee's um, site. When I talked to Milwaukee about that press system, they did not have it. 
So, and this was like two weeks ago. Well, in the interim, I saw that Milwaukee came out with a couple of new lodge tools. They came out with this power station. They came out with a, a jackhammer, which is 18 volt. Um, uh, that's something I will not buy because I do need a, 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 the Bosch brute breaker that we have. They came out with a sewer machine. I don't do sewers. I do have a large general machine and then I have that backpack and I have a 12 volt handheld gun. That's just for like really good customers that have a problem or if we're on a job and there's a problem, we can snake it out. Uh, but their cutoff saw was what I wanted. And I ordered it and it came in in one week. They called me up and they're like, Mike, your saw's in. I said, all right, I'm in the area. I'll come down and pick it up. So I drive down to the supply house, pick it up, get whatever else we need. And this was Wednesday and, you know, of course, we're, we're having a four-day weekend. Drive all the way back to my shop. The guy that's in charge of the tools calls me back. Hey, Mike, where are you? I go, I'm at my shop. Your threader came in. So now I got the Milwaukee Threader sitting in the um, supply house. But this is what I really, really wanted. And I waited to unbox it with you guys. Because this thing will work perfectly. Now, we do have a gas-powered one. We have it that walks behind. But um, this is something that I, we do, if we do large PVC pipe, metal pipe, we, we don't really put 21 foot lengths of pipe on our truck. We cut 21 foot lengths of pipe in half. This is something that we could cut a pipe right in half with. Um, we do make, we do cut cinder block, brick. We do cut through pavers. This, it has a three and three quarter inch depth of cut. It's brushless. One T, um, as you can see here, it comes with an abrasive blade, and it's a Milwaukee. Now it's it's a nine inch with a seven eighth inch arbor, so it's a pretty standard um, blade. It comes with. by blade but the beauty about it is and I asked them to get it for me is it you can put a hose to this but you can also put a water tank so it's got a nine inch diamond blade for concrete which is probably around 16th Oh, yeah, it's a little more than a sixteenth of an inch thick. So that's a nice kerf. And here's the puppy. Another adapter. Very light. We'll find out in a second when the blade goes on and the battery goes in. So it had, comes with a hose adapter and a quick connect on off. So you have your quick connect on off valve so you, you can control the water flow right at the tool. light. Wow. So it's a friction. There is no lock on the guard. It's a friction. It holds with friction. There is absolutely no lock on the guard. 
and it, it, it stay, it's you know it's got a little oomph to it it's a two part water so it sprays water out of both sides sprays water out of both sides as you can see here it sprays water out of both sides battery one key light it has a safety on the trigger so you cannot depress the trigger without depressing the safety see the way it builds up speed listen to the motor and then a nice break now, I'm wondering, did I miss it? Has an Allen key. The Allen key, now those are all stars. Hmm. battery out I don't see oh there we are and the other end of the blade wrench is the star for all for this handle for all the pieces throughout all the handle the guard the water outlets yep then is it the yep everything so it has a star for everything, even the little plate that holds the water outlet down. So this is let's see, is there a blade lock? let's see here no load rpm is 6600 the wheel arbor is 7 8 the wheel size is 9 inch the minimum wheel rating is 6600 diamond or bonded reinforced maximum cutting depth is just under three and a half 3.4 inches it weighs 10.5 pounds 90 psi of water pressure and then they give you the blade sizes okay here we go Telling you to put the Allen key through here. And that's not certainly the Allen key. There we go. The little door in there. There's a little door in there that actually locks this down. So there's a little door in here. It does it actually the Allen key is not going into any type of Allen screw. There's a door in there that actually drops. So it's like a gate and that gate drops and that's what's preventing the arbor from spinning. 
Battery is out towards us because as you can see I went the wrong direction. Again it has two different, they're aluminum and I'm dropping them. It's more so for water. They're aluminum sleeves. Rotation. Alright, this here needs to have the center bushing taken out. Let's try this blade. Goes right on. Next bushing. Or blade capture nut. You can feel it engage. Tighten it up. Give it a spin. Mm -hmm. That's it. See what a little reading of instructions will do. Battery. This is this will be such. It, it, it'll just cut down on fatigue. Wow. Very nice. They did a very nice job on it. It's the twenty-seven eighty-six dash twenty. Cut off machine. And what? Brake is very nice. Battery out. Yeah, so the need to remove the center, which I did. Let's put this one on. It is very nice out. So I have the garage door open. But of course now every body that drives past will I will be able to hear them but at least I don't have to have the air conditioner on anymore or the fan Play with this on Monday when we go back to the hotel. We've got a bunch of stuff to cut out of the way, so we'll be fussing with it. All right, YouTube. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I uh, hope the rest of your weekend is going very well. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. I'm getting really close to the 10,000. I think I'm uh, 140 away. And let me grab, again, I always got to grab this thing. This is my giveaway. Not this one. Sealed in a box. TSO Products, MTR-18, square. What you see here comes square. And it comes with the um, uh, right angle uh, plate. So you can use it as a large square. Um, if you look up on their site, there's other options you can get with it to mount it without the plate onto your um, MFT3 table. Use it to make um, angle cuts. But um, that's my giveaway for 10,000. Where we're going to do it is you're going to, um, when I hit 10, 
I'm going to do a video. You're going to put a comment on it. We're going to go two weeks so we can grab as much as we can. Uh, put them in a hat, draw it, and whoever wins, no matter where you are, Europe, wherever, it gets mailed to you. Okay? Um, if you would like to ask a question, and again, keep those questions coming. Um, I love answering them. I um, will have my email below. You just um, email me the question, or if you would like a Mike's Woodshop sticker, uh, just put, send me your address, and um, I'll send you one out. Today, um, the 30th, um, is my daughter's book release day. So her novel gets released on Amazon today. Uh, I'm not sure what time. Uh, there was a, you know, of course, there's always got to be a little glitch. But it should be released today. But um, she goes by K.D. Latronico. K.D. is her name. So it's K.D. Latronico. The book's called Heart of a Rebel. It's, um, the genre is biker, motorcycle club. Um, and, uh, um, and she's on her second book now that is being edited. She's actually working on her third book. So I'm very proud of her. Uh, so can't wait for, um, for, to see it uh, on Amazon. I'm going to buy it, but I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Cause you, you get it. <laughs> uh, my wife, my other daughters, friends, yeah, they're going to get it. But I will buy it. I'm buying paperbacks for her so she can send the paper, you know, sell paperbacks. But um, I'm sorry. I can't, <laughs> I can't read it. She, she understands. <laughs> so, um, all righty. Um, again, thank you very much. I really appreciate um, all of the... Uh, likes the comments the subscribes and uh, and keep them coming all right all right youtube i'll talk to you on the next i'll see you on the next video take care bye bye